Hi guys, I'm a Forrester here with a review of my latest watch, this beautiful deep blue precision diver in orange. Now, I've always been attracted to orange-faced watches, especially the Seiko Samurai and the Seiko Orange Monster, but I always thought they were too expensive for what you got. This deep blue, I think, is a better watch, and it comes in at a much lower price point. Now, I like to color coordinate my watches when I go back to one of my colleges. I don't know that I've really mentioned it much on any of my videos, but I initially went to North Carolina State University for college. And now looking at me, I don't know if you'd guess it, but I went back later in life to Clemson for my doctorate in forestry. Some people use social media to reinvent themselves, but I promise you that I'm not doing that. You can believe what I say. So now, with this deep blue precision diver, I'm all set to cheer on the Tigers and the Wolf Pack when college football returns. Let's go inside and I'll go over the main features of this watch. I'll tell you what I like about it and what I don't like about it. Okay, we're inside now, and first off, I want to give you a close-up of this good-looking watch. Now, officially, this is the Deep Blue Master 1002 Precision Diver. Deep Blue has a lot of different models, so match up the model designation carefully. I want to show you one of my favorite features first, and it's this ceramic bezel. It's a convenient way to tell how long you've been underwater or how long you've been cooking your steak. So I'm going to rotate this dot around to match up with the minute hand. Here you go. Now you'll be able to see how long it actually takes me to film this video. First off, let me show you what it came in. And it came in this cardboard box. It's a very simple box. It doesn't have the model number on it, but it does say Deep Blue Precision Diver, and that's the logo. Inside the cardboard box, though, was this sturdy nylon pouch. And the reason I want to show you what came with it is that I've never bought a watch with so much stuff included. So let me show you. Inside the pouch came this tag that was attached to the watch. It just says Deep Blue. Then there was these silicon strips, uh, straps that I took off the watch and replaced with the strap that's on it. I'll put them back on the watch at the end of the video so you can see what the watch looks like with these straps. They're very comfortable. But inside this netting is all the swag that came with it. So the first thing is this cleaning cloth. Then there's a foam pad and inside the foam pad are all the goodies. So you have a deep blue sticker that you can put on something. Okay, this was really neat but you have a compass and thermometer that you can mount on your watch band. I didn't do that and I doubt that I will because they're a little bit bulky. And then you have an owner's manual. And even more, you have a keychain, a deep blue keychain. And finally, an international warranty card. Good anywhere in the world. They've got everything that you could want in this pouch and more. And now to the star of the show, and that's the watch itself. I've been wanting a dive watch because of some of the rugged features that they have. I've only used scuba gear once in my life, but the dive features can be useful anyway. Now, I got this particular watch because of the orange face, and it's the most distinctive feature of the watch. I think they got the color just right as it's not too bright or fluorescent of an orange and it's not too dull. It's what I would call a matte orange finish. The white five minute markers and the minute hand really stand out on this orange background and I think the black ceramic bezel frames the watch face beautifully. I like the orange face so much that I bought this 22 millimeter black, gray, an orange nylon strap on Amazon to set it off even more. I'll put a link to the watch strap in the description box below. Now, I bought this watch in February, going on three months ago, and I've been wearing it the bulk of the time. I've worn it in the office and I've worn it outside doing yard work, so this band isn't as bright as when it was new. The strap also covers the exhibition back, 
So I'll show you the back of the watch when I change the straps. Now with any watch the most important thing is accuracy. And after having worn it for almost three months, I can say that this watch is very accurate. It gains around four to five seconds per day. And since it gains time, instead of losing it, and it has a hacking movement, it's easy to just stop the seconds hand at the 12 position and then start it back up when the actual time catches up. Deep Blue uses Seiko's NH35 automatic movement in this watch. And that's an unbranded version of Seiko's 4R36 movement that they use in the Orange Monster and the Seiko Turtle and a number of other watches. Now I paid $250 for this watch, which is 50 to 100 less than similar Seiko watches with this same movement. Now this is a substantial watch. It's 44 millimeters in diameter which fits my wrist just fine, and I have, but I have fairly large wrist. It's fairly heavy at 4.8 ounces, but I like a little weight in a watch. It's 15 millimeters thick, which is fairly thick, but I haven't found it to be a problem when wearing long sleeve shirts. It has a unique shape that I'd call a kettle shape. The stainless steel body has a brushed finish, and it has polished accents like on the back. So what have I missed? Well, let's see. It has a sapphire crystal. It has a date window right here. It has a screw down crown. And there's the logo right there. And you may have noticed this other button right here. It doesn't have the logo on it, but it is a screw down button. And this is a helium release valve that releases internal pressure when it exceeds five bars. That's definitely not why I bought this watch. So here's how it looks on my wrist and next I'll switch over to the original silicon straps and show you the exhibition back. I'll tell you what I like about it and what I don't like about the watch. Oh and one thing that I don't like about this strap is the location of the buckle on the back side. It's way too far on the outside of my wrist. Everything else though I like about it. Okay, I'm back and here's what it looks like on these black silicon straps. And I have to say that wasn't an easy changeover. You can tell how much time it took me. I have to tell you that these straps though are much more comfortable than the nylon straps that came with it. I'm gonna leave these on for a while. But let me show you the exhibition back. Because if you're paying for it, You'd like to see it, and it does have the deep blue logo and name there on the rotor. It has the, some information. I think we covered most of this. A Japanese movement, sapphire crystal, all stainless steel body, and it has a depth rating of 1,000 feet. And now for my likes and my dislikes. I have four likes and two dislikes that I want to focus on. My first like is that I love the color coordinated look of this watch with this nylon strap. And I think I've mentioned that at least once in this video. My second like is that it keeps great time for an automatic watch. I can live with it gaining five seconds a day and it's very easy to reset. My third like is that I use this bezel regularly for timekeeping, mainly when I'm walking at the dam to time lapse. Now this video so far has taken somewhere around 49 minutes to record. My fourth like is that I don't think I've mentioned it, but it's very easy to read at night. Let me illuminate it some with a flashlight and give you an idea of how bright it is. I think you can tell that already, but let me put some shade on it. It lights up very brightly. The minute hand, the five minute markers, and the markers on the outside bezel. So I have no problem at all reading at night. But my first dislike is related to reading the watch at night. When diving, you know, you're more concerned with reading the minute hand than the hour hand. So there's not as much luminova on the hour hand. I basically can't see the hour hand at night. The reason is that it's outlined in black. So one fix would be to paint over that black outline just so there's more white surface. Now I wish that it had both day and date feature on the face of the watch. 
but I can just live with the date. That's not a huge problem. It's just very convenient to glance at my watch during the day for the day and date. So there you have it. That's my take on the Deep Blue Precision Diver. I'll be wearing this watch the next time Clemson takes the field. Y'all take care.